Du, 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 du. Yo, what's up people? So I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. If you've seen some of my customs, you'll see that I do a lot of Dragon Ball Z work. And I've been watching Dragon Ball Super a lot, and I love it. I, wa I was thinking though, I was thinking though, like, have you guys heard of Dragon Ball AF? After Future, or Alternative Future, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't, look it up. Because once you see it, you understand what I'm talking about today. But I personally feel, this is just my opinion, my opinion, that Dragon Ball Super took a lot out of Dragon Ball AF. You don't believe me? Let me show you. So I'm going to jump around a lot to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, but let's just kind of get into it real quick. So, number one, in Dragon Dragon Ball AF, the main bad villain is called Psychor. Psychor. Basically Goku's third son. Long story short, the West Kaioshin, which is apparently Freeze's mom, makes no sense, got some of Goku's DNA and made a Kaioshin Saiyan called Zykor. Sound a little familiar? A Kaioshin merged with a Saiyan. Also, Zykor, who happens to be pretty much part Goku, has white hair. Hmm. A villain in Dragon Ball Super with white hair. Hmm. Kaioshin, Super Saiyan. Kaioshin, Saiyan. White hair, white hair. Hmm. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but they do seem kind of related. Now, Zykor was extremely strong. Okay. Granted, granted. And they couldn't beat him, so they had to find a way to get Goku back. In Dragon Ball AF, Goku is dead. He's not on Earth anymore. He's in a dragon spirit realm because he got absorbed, because he absorbed the Dragon Ball and became a Dragon Ball Shenron type character. If you've seen Dragon Ball GT, you know what I'm talking about. You get the idea. So he's in this different world with Tycon. Because Goku merged with Shenron, he's extremely stronger now. Like he's like nowhere, Vegeta's nowhere near close anymore. He's been training in this random spirit world and they hint at Goku being extremely strong with a new transformation where, where he has Super Saiyan 4 eyes and that's all you see. But he has white hair. Now Zyko comes on Earth with Frieza's mom, AKA the West Couch, beats up everybody. Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 4. Gohan, Super Saiyan 4, they get Thrash. Trunks get thrashed. Goten, damn, he almost died with one hit. That's how powerful he is. He just destroys all of them in one hit. Just bah, bah, just kills him pretty much. So what they do is one of the Kaioshins, the good one, comes to Earth and locks Zykor in a sword. Hmm. I wonder what else that happened in Dragon Ball Super. Merge Zamasu or Zamasu in something. The Ma the Mapuba? Mapuba? Whatever the case is. Hmm. Sounds pretty familiar. And the thing ended up not working because eventually they escaped from it. Hmm. Hmm, very familiar. Hmm, wonder where. Also, in Dragon Ball Super, now they introduce two female Super Saiyans. But in Dragon Ball AF, there's also two female Super Saiyans, which happen to be Pan and Bra. Hmm, I wonder where they got the inspiration from. Hmm. Also, in Dragon Ball Super, they brought back Broly in a different way with Kale being the, with Kale being the legendary Super Saiyan Broly female version. Pretty much. Hmm, in Dragon Ball AF, they brought back Broly because they needed him to resurrect Goku. Hmm, Broly reincarnated again in different ways. Hmm, yeah. And by the way, Broly's so weak at this point because he's, he's with Dragon Ball GT characters that he stands no chance against anybody. Goten can beat him up. And that's how weak Broly is because he's been dead. Whatever. So in Dragon Ball AF, they needed six Super Saiyans to band together, or seven, whatever the case is, to revitalize the Dragon Balls to wish Goku back to Earth because he's the only one that can beat Zykor. Hmm, I wonder what Dragon Ball Super movie where they need to all band together around Goku and transfer the energy to one thing to make them stronger for Goku. Maybe Super Saiyan God Red transformation? Now I know it's kind of different, but at the same time, they copied a lot of Dragon Ball AF and the Dragon Ball Super. And here's the thing, this is just a summary of what's been happening. Now I'm not a Dragon Ball AF expert, but I've read and seen the manga and all that, and there's just so many correlations to Super. Now is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think they had a lot of good things in Dragon Ball AF that they could have brought in, but they never made it real, they never made it canon or whatever you want to call it. So they took that and put it into Dragon Ball Super, which I'm like, okay. And also, in Dragon Ball AF at the end, which is not really revealed, Goku comes back to Earth eventually. Eventually, he gets wished back, or oh, I don't know what happens, he gets wished back to Earth, and he has a new transformation. That Dragon Ball Super Saiyan 5, where he has his ass taking gray fur and white hair type look, and that's probably that's a God transformation. Hmm, a God transformation in Dragon Ball Super. Hmm, blue hair. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think I'm right, think I'm wrong. Do you see where I'm coming from? Or am I just bullshitting right now? Let me know. Comment below what you think. And you know, if you like this video, like this video. And also hit the notification button. Notification. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, just let me know. I mean, I'm definitely a big Dragon Ball Z guy or Mortal Kombat. I'm a big video gamer. I mean, I'm a sneakerhead, fashion guy, artist, video gamer. You know, I'll have you. Let me know what you guys think. But, uh, that's it for this video. Until next time, later.